Welcome to the fifth and the final part of this AI-only Rome Total War campaign. It's using Greek mod. I've described this over and over again, so I won't go into it again. Link in the description down below. Uh, thank you to Avazef for making that mod. And we're actually seeing Thrace win so far, which I really did not expect. This will be the final episode. I just want to see who is going to uh, become the most dominant uh, between all these factions after after about 30 or 40 minutes. Uh, so yeah, let's just see what's going to happen, because I want to record uh, the start of my new roleplay uh, Venice campaign for Medieval 2 Talk to War after recording this. Uh, yeah, if you haven't checked it out, uh, go back to last Friday's episode, and my Venice Let's Play should have just begun. Should be really interesting. Uh, but for now, we'll just record for 30 or 40 minutes and see what happens. And like how... <laughs> Uh, this was Spanish territory for most of this game, and this has been, um, I think, Carthage of Britain. We've swapped places now, that's interesting to see. And we've also seen the start of British Africa. Uh, yeah, very interesting there. Imagine a British Carthage. Ooh, I'd love to see that. So yeah, whoever's going to have the most land between Thrace, Britain, and I guess all the other factions will end up winning. Now, what I love most about this campaign is that my guess right at the start for the winner was Thrace, and we actually did it. I can't believe that, and they're still expanding as well. Where are they pushing next? Are they going to continue pushing into Roman territory? I hope they do, but how are the Thracians and the British going to uh, divide this? It's so annoying having them both as blue on the map, because it blends in with the sea. <laughs> That's annoying. <laughs> Uh, Rome has a ceasefire with the British, that's going to be very good for the Thracians. Yeah, because now this should be just free land for them, and yeah, they don't have to contest it with anyone else. Unless the Romans make a comeback, that is always possible, as they haven't yet got their Marian reforms, so if those do come into play, then we could see a very powerful Rome start to suddenly, uh, start to suddenly emerge. I don't know if they have got their Marian reforms yet. Uh, they've got epic stone walls, so I'm guessing they do, but there's no actual way to tell. Ooh, a pretty volcano eruption. Ooh. And Thrace seem to be wanting Mediolanium. Okay, now, actually, there is a way to tell. I've cheated uh, one of my armies over uh, from the Amazon settlement, and we're going to attack the Romans. Let's see. Do they have Marian reforms? Yes, they do. I can confirm they have Marian reforms. Ooh, tier 3 chevrons on that. Weird, you don't really see that in AI armies. So yeah, I like how most of their armies mercenaries though. Though must be really desperate at this point. I bet this is destroying their economy. Yeah, like hardly any of this army here is Roman. <laughs> but at least they've got their Marian farms now, so this is Rome as strong as Rome can get. And they're still losing. <laughs> Ooh, they just put like so. Oh, they put two settlements under siege at once and lost them both, uh, both battles. And I just look beautiful. Have a swept him and got swept away. Looks like Rome will take. Uh, looks like Thrace will take Mediolanium though. And then if I was Thrace, I'll move down to Suggestor and just cut off all the other factions so they can take this territory for themselves. Quite valuable territory. If I tried it again. Ooh, Thrace losing a lot of troops down here. Now, they've got a lot of troops to throw in, so it's not going to hurt them too much, but the fact they're losing some battles, you know, it's going to really slow them down a bit. Yeah, they just keep losing battle after battle. The Romans thinning down the Thracians. If they keep on doing this, they might actually be able to make a push on Patavium. That could actually be possible. Uh, the British moving on Serta there, and it seems like uh, Thapsus here fell to the Egyptians. Are uh, Egypt and Thrace still allies? Um, yeah, they're still allies, so we're not going to see um, any conflict here, I don't think. Although, you know, Thrace could always backstab them the way they backstabbed the Seleucid Empire. Uh, Mediolanium fell to Thrace, so let's take a look at that. So yeah, they've, they've got mostly control of the Alps now. Um, they probably will start moving south eventually. Rome all of a sudden looking very weak. Well, they've always been looking weak, but they don't have the troops anymore. Uh, they've been thinned a little too much. They're winning the battles, but losing the war sort of thing. 
British Africa expands, and they've taken Serta, and it's now a race for Carthage. Who's going to get there first, Egypt or the British? The British get there first, but can they actually take it? They've still got in the siege, but it seems like the Spanish, I was about to say, got destroyed. Uh, the British took Bracha, but now the Spanish still alive all the way over here in Palma. Interesting to note, this actually starts off as a Carthaginian settlement, which means that the Spanish, very early on in the campaign, must have gotten some ships together, sailed, a, uh, sailed across and took Palma. Very early in the campaign, and I completely missed it. Um, yeah, interesting to... Uh, interesting that they actually managed that. I love these uh, Carthaginian watchtowers. By far my favourite watchtower. Although it's British now because it's under Britain control, but it's uh, Carthaginian style. I love those watchtowers. Much better than the dull Roman ones. Like, what do those look like? It's just... Uh, we can't see any, but the Roman ones are really dull uh, compared to the Carthaginian ones. Yeah, he here we go. Here's a, here's a Roman one. <laughs> That's so dull. Carthage held out over here. They pushed back the British, but Suggesta fell to the Thracians. I've only just noticed Rome right now has been pushed all the way back to their starting position. These are their starting settlements. Poor Rome. Are they still at war with Thrace? Uh, yeah, they're still at war there. Um, it looks like they're trying to take her Sardinia, so they're still trying to expand. And can Britain take Carthage? Yes, they took Carthage. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy I saw that. A British Carthage. <laughs> I never expected any of this to happen when I started this uh, campaign series. British Carthage, Thrace winning. <laughs> Greece being the power of um, the steps up here. A Carthaginian style watchtower making it all the way up here. <laughs> I, I bet that's a... Uh, I bet Parthia have that style, that's why that's there. Yeah, I bet it's Parthian, really. Egypt destroying the, Seleuc the Seleucid Empire the way they did. I didn't expect any of this. Carthage to even survive as a faction past 10 turns. <laughs> and boom, the Romans have captured Sardinia and Corsica. I uh, didn't expect that to happen. Uh, Thrace, very slow right now. They are, they're not pushing like they were. Uh, but either way, I think Rome is Rome is not what it once was. Rome's dead. It's like they don't need to push anymore. They can they can just keep the Romans down there. It's their territory to take whenever they want it now. Now Britain and the Germans are at peace, but I swear this settlement here has changed hands. Can't remember when that happened, but I'm sure that was British land. Interesting. I'll keep an eye on that front. <laughs> British Africa just keeps on growing. Carthage now down to just two settlements. They'll probably last throughout the entire game, but... <laughs> Ooh, we could see a British-Egyptian war. Oh, that'd be funny. <laughs> I never thought I'd see that at the start of a series. Britain and Egypt bordering each other. <laughs> Imagine if I said from part one that this would someday happen. You, you wouldn't believe it for a second. <laughs> Oh, oh, something happened. Uh, falling asleep there. I've been just clicking end turn for like 10 minutes. Uh, covered about 50 turns. It seems like uh, <laughs> seems like the Germans made a push on the Greeks and they took uh, Tanes here. Okay, now I can go to sleep again for another 10 minutes. Carthage has been kicked out of Africa um, by the British um, of all factions. And yep, there they go. They're all gone. Uh, no arm is left as well. Rome and Parthia have signed an alliance, so that's hardly news or uh, the most pointless thing ever. Carthage uh, still survives up here, and I bet they'll survive until the end of the game. I can't imagine um, anyone else bringing them down. The British might be able to get the troops there, but it's going to be a difficult settlement to take. But they probably won't even be able to get round there because of the pathfinding. Uh, let's just have a quick zoom around the map. Oh, finally they're starting to move. Um, these two powers have been slaughtering each other for ages now. No one's actually put an anything under siege until now. Can anything fall? This just happens in these campaigns. Uh, the AIs always get to a certain point where they just, uh, where they just break. Everything slows down, and that's why you know time lapses. You don't see world conquests on them. Uh, they just eventually the AI just stops, 
uh, which is a re real shame. It doesn't happen in Medieval 2, but it's a real shame for Rome Total War. Um, anyway, uh, Campus Samarta here, a Greek settlement, has fallen to Thrace. Uh, so the Greeks' last uh, stand on mainland Europe is in Crimea. They've still got Sicily, and uh, yeah, these two islands here. I really just, I'm only really waiting with the, this campaign now to see if the Thracians can take Rome. That's all I want to see, but they keep losing the battles. Because we're not going to see anything else in this. There's not going to be any more big wars break out, I don't think. Um, it's just more, can Thrace take Rome before I fall asleep again? <laughs> uh, Britain and uh, Egypt could go to war. Uh, Carthage could get destroyed. Um, you know, we could see wars between the Germans, British and Thracians. But I doubt that's going to happen at this point. There's only one thing left to do. And that's for Thrace to destroy the Romans. But they're not doing anything. <laughs> This is the strongest they've been in Italy for a while though, they've... Um, at one point it looked like it was in Romans' favour, but... Eventually the Thracians got more troops down here. Right, our red team's looking weak. They might actually be able to do it here. They've got loads of reinforcements to just keep on throwing in. They could take our red team. Are they gonna do it? Eventually they might do. They've got Arminium under siege now. Uh, they probably will lose that battle. Yeah, I thought they did. Avetium still under siege, nine turns. Oh, the lost but point under siege again. Okay, that makes sense. Ooh, uh, Crimea fell. Uh, the Germans took that. I wasn't concentrating for a second. Ah, oh, they lost in Avetium. And here we are, we're back to how it was. <laughs> How's Carthage looking? Yeah, they're gonna survive. Crimea fell to the Germans. I'll see you in another 50 turns. Oh, um, Carthage has been destroyed. Um, it seems like Regicide got them. Uh, they must have had one general left who died of old age, and there we go. Carthage is gone. And let's just take a very quick look here and see what the British army is looking like. Um, they seem to be just spamming chosen swordsmen with a couple of chariots. Interesting. Yeah, just not to resolve that, there we go. So yeah, Carthage actually died, I didn't expect to see that. Now I bet the British will go in and take it. Now that it's a rebel settlement, uh, the pathfinding will all of a sudden be easier for them. Um, or maybe not. Oh, it seems like it wouldn't be easier for them. Nope, AI is just dumb, okay. <laughs> well, let's at least see what buildings are in this settlement then. Uh, what did Carthage build? Because now that... Um, now that we're like, um, how many turns is this? It starts at 270, so at 70, plus 100, 170 years. Uh, double that because it's two p turns per year, so that's about 300 to 320 years in. Yeah, I'll say 320 turns in, actually. 320 turns. And of course, all the buildings are um, maxed out. It's got a barbarian circle in here. Um, if you're wondering why it's a thousand public order, AI can't manage public order at all. Um, so if you want to see an AI in an AI only style campaign take more than five settlements, you've got to give them a thousand public order for each building. Um, oh, it's just dumb and broke and it don't work otherwise. Yeah, it's got like uh, fully maxed out all buildings. Just everything. What's population like? 13,000. Actually, it's still got to grow a tier yet. Is it not at max? Oh, it's not at max level. It hasn't got the population yet. Generally speaking, though, most of the settlements become huge uh, cities by this point. Uh, yeah, you can recruit lots of troops. Uh, of course, it's Carthaginian culture right now. Uh, are they all huge? Not large. Just not a normal city. Large, large. I bet the Romans are huge. Yeah, all these are huge. There we go. The Greek ones as well, I bet. Yeah, all of them except Salona by it looks of things. Salona's tiny. Yeah, those are all huge. <laughs> this is still a basic town somehow. <laughs> Imagine if the Egyptians went to war with Thrace. They could actually do a load of damage on them. But no, they're not doing. Look at the trade between these two factions. 
Alright, looking at it now, I'm going to give it to 100 BC and then I'm out. Ooh, Spain got destroyed by Regicide as well, I'm betting. I uh, didn't see that happen. Uh, it looks like Rome might actually step in there and take them. What's this Roman army looking like? Um, Alright, this is a little bit more Roman, not just a mercenary spam. But they don't have urban cohorts or the Praetorian units, or the stronger tier units. It's all just uh, legionary cohorts or early legions. Now, I want to see what capitals are. Oscar is the British capital. Yeah, right in the middle, I can understand that. And Thrace, I bet, where's their capital going to be? Hmm, it doesn't seem to be in Europe. Ah, here we go, Pergamon. Uh, yeah, okay, that's a good spot for it. Um, Egypt, have they moved theirs? Uh, not re really any need to move it, I don't think. Uh, Jerusalem is their capital. Okay, I think Alexandria might be better to get it middle, but whatever. And I bet Rome is still Rome. No! Rome is not the capital. What is it going to be then? Um, it's, uh, of course, the one I struggle to pronounce. Arim Inim. Arim Inim. There we go. <laughs> Interesting they changed it. Yeah, it must have been once they had a big empire they moved it more north. And now it's just, yeah, they need to move it south again. Yeah, and Germans here, which makes sense. Ooh, the Greeks made a little comeback, they've taken Crimea. I got no idea how they got over here, but somehow they got here and they've taken Crimea back. <laughs> and the Germans probably don't take it back again. Uh, can we do it before 100 BC? They should be able to. Yep, and there we go, it's German again. <laughs> Poor Greece. At least they tried. So yeah, as I said, the AI, as this, um, as these AI only campaigns go on, it slows down by quite a bit near the end, and it just sort of dies out on itself, which is unfortunate, but that's just how Rome Total War is. Um, and we're not really going to see much more, so it's only, of course, logical if I end it. If I go on another 200 turns, um, and go for part 6, get us to, um, 180 as the year, we probably won't see that much change. Maybe the Thracians might take Rome, but that'll be probably all we'll see. Yeah, because factions don't even go to war that much at this point. It's just like uh, peace for like 200 years. And there we go. I think it's a good place to end it at this point. Uh, we have still seen a lot of interesting stuff happen. Fall of Carthage, the destruction of Spain, um, the rise of British Africa, uh, Egypt taking Thapsus, um, Thrace uh, securing the Alps, and some other stuff as well to do with the Greeks. Now let's take a look uh, very quickly at uh, the final end stats. What, I want, what factions do I want to get in this? I'm not bothered about the Germans. They haven't really had a good campaign. It's more just they survived, but they haven't had a good campaign. Uh, let's get Rome and Thrace. Uh, they're the interesting ones. Uh, the British. And you know what? We'll save the Egypt. No, we'll, we'll bring in the Egyptians. Yeah, go on then. Shall we bring Carthage in as well? Nah. So yeah, overall, well done to Thrace. They clearly got the win. Uh, Britain in second. Third, I'll give to the Egyptians. Uh, fourth, we'll actually go to the Germans, but it shows it wrong. Would it be Germans? Yeah, just Germans. Military. Production. Territory. Um, so that's Thrace with about 34-35 settlements. Okay, um, apparently the Romans are not poor then, and they're just rolling in money. <laughs> Wonder where they got all that from. <laughs> Weird. Uh, population there. Yeah, as you can see, like, it's very interesting at the start, but in these final 100 turns, everything slows down. We've gone 380. We've gone 350 turns about overall. And uh, yeah, there it is overall. Now we just want to... Um, See the war between the Seleucid Empire and Egypt. Oh, you can't see much there, it's more just... Right, that's not as interesting as I thought it would be. Uh, let's see the fall of Rome and how Thrace took that land. So yeah, as you can see, as Rome fell, Thrace rose. Yeah, this is when the fall of Rome began. So yeah, there it all is. How much are the rebels in debt? Uh, that's... One, two, three, 1.5 million in debt. <laughs> okay, so I can't say too much, um, but there is a mod or a tool in the works by some modders that may allow you to actually change your faction 
mid-game, which I think could be really interesting. And it could completely revolutionise this um, AI-only format that I'm doing. It's currently taking them longer than I thought, but that's okay. So, if you remember my first Let's Play, um, I am wanting someday uh, to play as the Rebels. Uh, stop playing as Thrace and let the AI take over Thrace. And, yeah, just see if the AI can survive. And in this Let's Play that we've seen here, I want to just let the Rebels be controlled by the AI, and I want to become in command of, I don't know, let's say the Romans. And let's just see what the AI have left in Rome, and let's see if we can expand Rome further. I think it could be a really good idea. Um, of course, no guarantee as a mod or tool, whatever you want to call it, may not actually work in the end, but it could be interesting. I don't know when it'll be finished, so I can't really say too much there. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's an interesting thing that some modders have been working on, and it's yeah something to be excited for with the future. There's so much more I can do with this AI-only campaign stuff, and if this mod works, then that just opens up so many more new doors. Um, I could actually have, like, saving the AI's disaster campaign, stuff like that. Loads of stuff that could be really interesting. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this video. Hope to see you in the next one, and, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this entire series as well. If you have... Please like all the videos, subscribe, share the series with someone you think may be interested, and yeah, that's, that's everything. Hope you've enjoyed. Goodbye.